So I'm going to start by moving my graphic yeah. window down. And I'm going to create two line segments that intersect. I choose the segment because the regular line tool, you know, the definition of a line is it's infinite. You know, it goes on and on and on and on for infinity. Yes. So when you draw it, shh, when you draw it, it takes up, you know, a big portion of your screen. So Really big. <laughs> It's so big, it's bigger than space. Okay. Hush up. <laughs> Alright, so we've got our two intersecting lines here. And we're going to go to the point tool. Click the intersect point. you got to intersect it right in the middle. Mm-hmm. And when both objects are highlighted that you, you're trying to find the intersection of, go Just ahead and click. click it. There you go. And now, it'll make a little grid dot. Uh -huh. Just for you. And it'll be intersected. All right, now we got four angles: C E B, B E D, B E D, D E A, D E A, and A E C. A E C. All right. So using the angle tool, it tells us we can either select three points or two lines. So I'm going to do the point thing. Okay. One point. Point. Two point. Two point. And there's the third. And then the third point. And then go here, and here, draw. and here. I'm just going to draw you your little circle around the thing. Showing where our angle is, right? Kind of looks like a pie. Yes, that's our angle. That's the measurement of the angle. Now we can use the move tool and move some of this around so we can see a little better. Of what that pie looks like. Okay. And do we notice anything right away, Sarai? Do you notice anything? Uh, this me. Is that a bee? It's a beta character. That character is beta in Greek, I think. Beta. It's alpha, beta. I don't know the Greek alphabet, but yeah. That's like a B, kind of. But what do you notice? That, well, they all have these two. They both have 70 and 97 on them. Right. And then these two both have 109.3. Right. So these are equal. The measurement of this one is 70.97, and the measure of this one is 70.97. But the letters are different. Yeah, because they have different names. So, to show the ones that are equal to each other, we're going to make them the same color. Now, just right-click on that angle and go to Object Properties. That's what I did. Right-click, go into Object Properties. That's how I got here. And then in Style, I can give it this thing that will kind of show that it's different and this this means oops, by them both having those two lines that means that they're equal and this one only has one line they're equal to each other so now we've marked them now how can we prove I'm going to move this over just a bit just a bit so it'll be easy numbers to work with Okay, now these are a linear pair. These two angles, CEB and BED, are called a linear pair because they form a line together. Linear a meaning a line. line. Yep, they form a straight line. And a straight line is 180 degrees. So together, they should make 180 degrees. 100.01, which is like 100. I can't get it to be perfect for some reason. And this one is almost 80. So together they make 180. Mm -hmm. And these are also a linear pair. They also form a straight line. So 180. That's how these two are equal. Because these form a linear pair. And these form a linear pair. But this one is common to both of them. So they're going to be equal to each other. If... 360s all the way around the block. That's right. 360s all the way 360 around. 360 would be all the way around here. All Starting from D all the way back to D. Exactly. 360. That's, yep. 360. And half of that's 180. Uh -oh, and if we wanted to do right angles, let's make them be right angles. And it's like D. an L kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And it's and a right angle is on tables, yep. um, computers, mm -hmm. the space bar, no okay. yep. keys. I wish I could get this to be exact. 
I don't know why it doesn't oh. want to be exact with me. Window tabs on mm -hmm. the computer. All right, good. So, yep. So this shows that these vertical angles or opposite angles are equal to each other. Equal. No matter which way I slice it, which way I move the angles, which way I move the lines, they dump, always stay dump, equal to each other. Dump, dump, and it's because of the whole linear dump. pair thing. Because these form a pair dump. and these are a linear pair. Dump. So whatever this one's um, complement is, no not complement, I'm sorry, supplement. If two angles are supplementary, how much do they equal? Me, me. Wait, say that again. Two, okay. When two angles form 180 degrees, are they supplementary or complementary? Um, sup. Yes, yeah, supplementary. Because complementary is they form a right angle. I give you a compliment, I tell you, you look right. <laughs> All right? Yeah. But uh, supplementary, they form 180. So these are supplementary, and these are supplementary to each other. And these are supplementary to each other. And these are supplementary to each other. Let's say, like, all of them are supplementary to each other. Not all of them. These are not uh, supplementary. Well, the red and green together no. make supplementary. Yes. And then no. the green and green no, they're equal. No. See, look, they're equal to each other. They're called vertical angles. Vertical. No, 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 no. So that's about it. No, 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 no. Know that no, if you have no, 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 two intersecting no, no, no. lines, the vertical angles or angles that are opposite to each other are equal. The adjacent angles or angles that are next to each other are supplementary. They form a linear pair because they form a straight line. Straight? Together. They form a straight line, and that's 180 mm -hmm. degrees. Yes, you can say. Bye, everyone. See you next time on the GeoGebra. <laughs> okay, somebody wants to be a YouTuber.